first up a rich and flavorful shepherd's pie. That is comfort food no matter where you are from. Basically, shepherd's pie is some ground meat, some layers of vegetables, and mashed potatoes on top. Really easy to do. Two pounds of potatoes, peeled and boiled. I've already got some going. So we've got two tablespoons of butter going in the pan here. I've already chopped some onions and some carrots. I'm gonna get going on the celery. While these are softening, I'm gonna chop up a little thyme to throw in. Just gonna chop that up a little bit more. So I'm gonna add these to my veggies and let the flavors all meld. Two pounds of ground chuck. We're gonna just cook it down with our veggies and into our shepherd's pie. Just about two tablespoons or two squeezes of tomato paste. One and two. Two tablespoons of flour. Sprinkle over it. It's gonna help make that like a nice gravy kind of sauce for the meat. Lovely. Mix that up really well. Okay, that looks great. Two cups of beef stock. It's about a half a box. You can just eyeball it. Nice. And a nice dash of Worcestershire sauce. This is the stuff that just gives it that special flavor. People can't really tell what it is they're tasting, but they know it's really flavorful. Looking good. So we're just gonna let this come to a simmer for about 10 minutes until most of the liquid is evaporated. Okay, it's potato time. So we've boiled our potatoes. They've been nice and soft in the middle. And we're gonna heat up a stick of butter. So now add one third of a cup of cream. The reason we're heating up the butter and the cream, it'll make you the creamiest mashed potatoes ever. And let's give it the old pinch of salt for our flavoring. Lovely. Now let's rice these potatoes. Oh, push that baby through. There we go. Look at this lovely, lovely potato that's coming out. Okay, my butter's melted, the cream is warm. Time to mix it into our potatoes. Just stir it in gently. Let's put a little more salt and pepper in here to taste. These potatoes are delicious by themselves, but come on, I'm from the Midwest. We gotta add cheese. Just about a cup. And they're gonna melt down even further after we put them in the oven. Now you can spoon this potato on top of your shepherd's pie just by hand, but I'm gonna be a little bit fancier for my boys and put it in a resealable bag with a star tip. Give it that little extra flair. So that's ready. We're gonna set that aside and let's check on our meat. Our last two ingredients, about two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley. Pop it into our meat mixture. And then what would a good shepherd's pie be without some frozen peas? Now, you wanna put these frozen peas in at the very end because nobody wants a mushy pea. They'll thaw out when it's cooking in the oven. So now, we're gonna take the meat mixture and fill it almost to the top of our little ceramic ramekins. But you could always just use a casserole dish. Okay, these are looking great. We're gonna pop them in the oven for about 20 minutes at 400. All right, there we go. Don't they look good?